This lesson is called Pairs of Lines. In this lesson, we'll talk about parallel lines and perpendicular lines and skew lines. We'll also talk about parallel planes. And then we'll learn about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines and how those relate to one another. So what are parallel lines? They're lines that are coplanar and do not intersect, just like railroad tracks or the double yellow line in the middle of the road. You use arrows to indicate that lines are parallel, these red arrows here. That means that the lines are parallel. If you had a second set of parallel lines in the same picture, then it would get a double arrow The symbol for parallel is this double line like this. And in the figure above, the arrows show that line AB is parallel to line CD. So with symbols, we would write that like this. Line AB is parallel to line CD. We also have perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect to form a right angle. Remember, there's 90 degrees in a right angle. The symbol for perpendicular lines is this upside down capital T. That means perpendicular. Four right angles are formed when you have perpendicular lines. Not just this one, but all four of these angles are right angles. And if line M is perpendicular to line N, then we'll use the symbols M is perpendicular to N. That's how we would write that out. Skew lines and parallel planes. Two lines are skew if they do not intersect and they're not in the same plane, so they're not coplanar. For example, lines CG and line EF. Line CG is in the front here. Line EF is in the back. It looks like they overlap in this picture, but if you think of this as being three-dimensional, they do not. So those are skew. Skew lines. They're not parallel and they don't intersect. Now, all planes are either parallel or intersecting, and parallel planes are two planes that don't intersect. Plane ABC, which is the top of this, and plane EFG, which is the bottom of this, those are parallel planes. So let's do some examples. Name all segments that are parallel to segment AD. Well, here's segment AD, and all segments parallel to that are all of the other ones that are slanted in the same direction. So that's segment BC, segment FG, and segment EH. And when you write these, make sure you write the segment bar on top. What about segments that intersect segment AD? Well, those would be the ones that touch it, and that would be the ones that touch point D, segment DH, and segment DC, and the ones that touch point A, segment AE, and segment AB. So that's segment DH, segment DC, segment AE, and segment AB.
What about segments that are skewed to segment AD? That means it's not parallel and it doesn't intersect. So really, it's going to be all the ones we haven't mentioned, like segment CG, segment BF, segment FE, and segment GH. None of these are parallel to segment AD, and none of them intersect. So those are the skew segments. When you write the segments, remember to put the bars on top of the letters. And what about a plane that's parallel to plane ABC? Well, plane ABC is the top blue plane. The only plane here that's parallel to that is the bottom one, which is plane FGH. Slopes are important when talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope, and perpendicular lines have slopes that have a product of negative 1. Also remember that vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular. 0 and an undefined slope, you can't take the product of that but they're still perpendicular. In this example, they're determining whether line A, B, and C, D are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So they took the slope of each line. The slope of line A, B is 3, and the slope of line C, D is half. Those are not equal, so they're not parallel and 3 times half is 1.5 which is not negative 1 so they're not perpendicular so this is neither so what if you had a slope of 2 thirds for your line the slope of the parallel line would be the same 2 thirds the slope of the perpendicular line would be the negative reciprocal negative 3 halves Perpendicular slopes are the negative reciprocal. You flip the fraction and you change the sign. Two-thirds times negative three-halves is negative one. That's what you need for perpendicular slopes. So remember that perpendicular lines, to have a product of negative one, they have to be negative reciprocals of each other. What if one line has a slope of negative seven? The parallel line also has a slope of negative 7. And then for perpendicular, take the opposite reciprocal. That'd be a positive 1 7. Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines need to have a product of negative 1 for their slope. Or you could say that their slopes are negative reciprocals. Determine whether line MN and line RS are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Graph each line to verify your answer. Number one. For line MN, y2 is 4 minus y1 is 3 over x2 is 2 minus x1 is 0. That's 1 half. For line RS, y2 is 4 minus y1 is 1 over x2 is 8 minus x1 is 2. That's 3 over 6, which is 1 half. These lines have the same slope, so they're parallel. If you graph them, plot the points, connect the dots, R and S, connect the dots, and you can see that those lines are definitely parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. Number two, the slope of line MN, Y2 is 5, minus Y1 is 3, over X2 is 0, minus negative 1 
for x1. That's 2 over 1, which is 2. For line RS, y2 is negative 1, minus y1 is 1, over x2 is 6, minus x1 is 2. That's negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. Those slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. And you can check, they have a product of negative 1. 2 times negative half is negative 1. These are perpendicular lines. Now graph it. Point M and N for line MN and point R and S. And you can see that there is definitely a right angle there. Perpendicular lines have slopes with a product of negative 1. Their slopes are negative reciprocals. Flip the fraction and change the sign. Number 3. For line MN, find the slope. Y2 is 4 minus Y1 is 3 over X2 is 4 minus X1 is negative 1. That's 1 over 5. For line RS, the slope is Y2 is 2 minus Y1 is 1 over x2 is negative 2 minus x1 is 3. This is 1 over negative 5, which is negative 1 fifth. Those slopes are not equal, and 1 is positive and 1 is negative, but we don't have a reciprocal there. If I check the product, 1 fifth times negative 1 fifth, that's negative 1 over 20 fifth. This one is neither. They're not parallel, and they're not perpendicular. To graph it, m is negative 1, 3. n is 4, 4. r is 3, 1. s is negative 2, 2. Draw the two lines. They intersect, so they're not parallel. And there's definitely not a right angle there. So they're not perpendicular. This one is neither. Remember, if the slopes are the same, they're parallel. If the slopes are negative reciprocals, they're perpendicular. Otherwise, it's neither.